So I'm going to give you a close-up day one of the skin before the Jessner peel. And if I like this peel, I'm going to go back in six weeks when I'm in Texas and I'm going to get another one done. Awesome. Okay, what's up? Day one. So my nails is broke. Um, Whether you've been with me since day one or this is your first time with me, go ahead and hit that subscribe pop button because you're now a part of the family. So what you're looking at? Is my face because I just went and got the $40 Ultra Lessner chemical peel. You know, the first time I went and paid $300 for a VI chemical peel that did not work on my skin. So if you have the same problem, I will go ahead and I will try this chemical peel. It's only $40. And I'm going to take you through day by day. I just had it did, just came home. She said, leave it on for four to six hours. You don't have to do nothing the, the seven days after. You don't need to do anything to it. No post pill, this, that. Just clean your face twice a day. And that's it. So, yeah. This is day one. What's up, y'all? It's the beginning of day three. I got some peeling going on here, here. Around here first. She said it was going to start here and work its way out. Um, The rest of my skin is just regular um it actually started last night on day two last night this started peeling a little bit i hope it does a really good peel by the end of the day but it's already doing a little something so i had got up and washed my face last night um because she said wash in the morning and at night before i go to bed but I kind of want to, like, not wash it because I feel like when I wash and put the moisturizer on, it kind of stopped from the peeling. So, I'm going to just let it peel and then I'm going to wash my face tonight and put some moisturizer on and see how long I could take it. I want full results. Y'all know my first one did not even work, so... I see it's getting like a little ash right here. All right, everybody. So this is the middle of the day on day three. Um, More around the chin. All of this is just flaking and peeling like crazy around my nose. She said it's going to start here and then branch out to the rest of the face. So this is what it's looking like right now. This is the middle of day three. And I'm going to take another video at the end of the night so y'all can see where it was. Chemical peel is not playing, baby. Like, y'all, it's the middle of the day, fake day four. I wish I can get my dog on days right. So, we're here. It's moved up to the nose, it's moved up into my T zone area a little bit. So, yeah. Okay, y'all. So, I had this peel done Tuesday. It's Thursday. I was finna get on here and tell y'all it's day four. Do you count the first day that you got it done? So that'll be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So technically it's day three of the peel. No, it's Friday. So if I count the first day that I got it done, it would be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So it'll be day four. But if I don't count that day, then it's day three. But anyway, basically, I want to tell y'all a secret idea to make sure that it peeled real good. When I got my peel, I came home and I like steamed my face for two minutes just to make sure it got deep in my pores. Then I cut it off. And this is day four. Now it's moving on up here. It was peeling here some yesterday. And now it's starting on my forehead as well. You know what else I noticed? When you like trap it in and it gets hot, it peels more like okay so this morning i had put on a face mask ran somewhere came back before the sun came up because you're not supposed to be in the sun when i came back all of this was peeling where i put the face mask in so like when it gets trapped in heat it starts to peel more that's why i'm thinking about steaming my face again today to see what it does but this is the beginning of day four so all right now it is day four four i believe day four is the next day this is my face 
just peeling everywhere it's peeling on the forehead it's peeling down here on the cheeks it's spreading this way a little bit going that way it peeled my nose completely yesterday this side is peeling so everything is still peeling as it's supposed to all right y'all this is like day five all my dark spots here have gotten lighter this is left on my face and this is left all my spots here have gotten lighter um it really worked well i'm actually about to watch a video on how to shave your face and i'm just about to shave the rest of this off my face the dermal planning you can do it yourself at home i have a facial streamer i have a razor so i'm about to watch a video on that and i'm about to shave the rest of this off my face and then i'm about to like narrow my eyebrows and pluck some of these out and i'm about to get cute it's how i look like this y'all so this is the very last day of my peel these are my results all of it has pretty much came up. I got a little bit right there that needs to peel and a little bit here. But I'm exfoliating everything. This is the end results. I know y'all probably cannot tell. But my dark spots have all lightened up intensely. And she did give me for a, a pigment cream with 4% hydroquinone in it to use after the product. I just put it on my face. Do it two times a week. I mean two times a day for the next few weeks. And... All of this should eventually just be be gone within the next two to three weeks. These lighten up a whole lot. They were way darker than this, way darker than this. I will continue to put my sunscreen on. These are my results. I feel good about it. It did way more to me than um, the the um, VI Pigment um, Precision Plus peel did. That peel was horrible, but this actually peeled a layer of my skin off. I, it feels smooth, it feels nice, it feels clean. So I'm gonna get a few more of these and y'all will continue to take the journey with me on my skin. Y'all, it's a couple days after the peel. I've been using that um, pigment control cream for about three to three days and it, my dark spots are already significantly way lighter than they was at the beginning of this, this stage. Um, this right here was super dark. It's brightened up completely. All around here was way darker and they have all brightened up as well. I would say at about two to three more weeks of me using that 4% hydroquinone pigment, pigment control cream, All of this is going to be completely lightened up, like, completely lightened up. So, these are the results. My skin is glowing. I feel great. I just need some lashes on and do my eyebrows.